consultants gave you when you were a guest at your first show first with show. the Pampered Chef. So yes. tell the audience a little bit about that. Well, I was invited to a Pampered Chef show two years ago. I had no idea what Pampered Chef was. It was the summertime. I had my three daughters, and I was very busy. So I was like, sorry, I can't come to your show. She was upset. She called me 10 minutes before the show, and she was like, you have to come. There's only two people here. <laughs> so I was like, oh, OK. So I brought my two-year-old with me. Um, I wasn't really listening to the consultant. She was up doing her thing. And I was chasing my daughter around the house, and oh, look out there, oh, look at the tree. Mm -hmm. You know, I really wasn't paying attention. So I was one of those obnoxious guests that we all have, <laughs> just all over Can the place. Can you relate? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Um, so like I said, I wasn't really listening to much what was going on. But I did hear about free products, so I was like, OK, I'll book a show. Um, so I went home that night when I had some quiet time. I was looking through the hose packet. And I saw this blue brochure with some products on it. And I was like, hmm, what is this? <laughs> I saw I could get all these products for $155. And I was like, um, yeah, I want all those products. But see, the thing was, about two weeks before the show, I was talking with a friend of mine who was in sales. And they were saying that they had to give this presentation in front of all these people. And they had to talk about some product. And I said, you are sick. I would rather drop dead than ever stand in front of people and talk. I said, I will never do that. I'm never doing that. So, Can you guys relate to that? No way. Um, but then I saw these products and I really wanted them. So I figured, I'm already doing a show in two weeks. I should just sign up and get all these products and then I should get paid for the show that I'm doing. So that's kind of what I did. I just really wanted the products. Okay. <laughs> so... So you completely paint the picture of that difficult guest. How many of us out there have had that difficult guest? Oh. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. All of us. But have you been to a lot of shows, or? Is <laughs> I was a show at all of them. <laughs> she has to go to all your shows with a two-year-old. But uh, so what kind of lessons do you draw upon from that? You go from terrible guest to phenomenal seller and uh, recruiter. Well, see, I figure, you know, Everybody at the show is a potential consultant, even if they're that obnoxious person like me who's just like all over the place. Um, so when I do my checkout, when I give them their receipt, I give everybody a Discover Us brochure. Even if they've already told me they don't want information about the business, I'm like, okay. But then I turn it over and I act like it's my business card. I'm like, well, if you need anything, when the products come in, if you need recipes, here's my email, here's my phone number. Keep it handy. You're going to need to get a hold of me. So they don't know what it is until they get home. Maybe they're going to be like me, not interested at all in the business. But um, maybe they're going to have a quiet moment, and they're going to look and see, I want these products. <laughs> Just like you. Right. So I mean, everyone gets one. It, that is so smart. What a great mm. investment, really, to purchase those. And probably you earn so many PC dollars, you probably just put... Your right. easy dollars for those as well. But, you know, what happened to you, of course, can happen to so many others. Let's face it. I mean, when your guests come to the show, they're probably not coming thinking that they're going to really sign up for a business opportunity or get a job, right? I mean, right. you got to kind of make that happen. So just, you know, like you, and to provide those great cues and red flags that we so often talk about. Uh, your second aha moment happened at Spring Launch 2011. Yes. You saw the announcement about the Spring Launch, and you kind of thought, well, that kind of sounded fun. Maybe, you know, it'll give you something to do. <laughs> right. Well, I was just really excited to get out of the sweatpants and ponytail and put some makeup on, get away from the kids for a day, and go do something adult. So I was excited to go. Um, I called up my director. She's fabulous, but I was like a terrible guest. I was a terrible consultant for the first six months. I didn't go to meetings. I didn't communicate with her. I was just one of those, let me do my own thing, you know. I got this down. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so, you know, I called her. She took me with her and the rest of the team. I got to know everyone and it was really great. Um, but I saw all the product. It was like a kid in a candy store. I was like, oh, everything was so exciting. Um, one of the consultants who was doing a cooking demo was saying that she makes like $5,000 a month. I was like, what? What? <laughs> so that was exciting. Um, and then they showed the free trip breakdown on the screen. And I knew, I was like, whoa. You know, because if I wanted to go on vacation that year, it had to be free. Mm -hmm. So, and I had never recruited anybody before that. I never even talked about the business 
up until that point. Because I was like, why do I want to have other people in my town going to, you know, taking my potential business? Like, that's so stupid. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not telling anyone about this secret pamper chest society. No way. It's a society now. <laughs> We all have a secret handshake to yes. us. We're going to work on that one. Yes. So, and uh, then I saw for the free trip, you had to recruit four people for the, for the New Orleans. Right. So I went home. There was like two weeks left that month. Recruited four people. I was like, I was like that's not really hard. I can do that. So I just started talking because I never opened my mouth before. So. Oh, my goodness. Brandon, so by going to spring launch... Obviously, you just, again, see how these kinds of meetings do make an impact on people, first of Definitely. all. I mean, hence what happened to you. But most importantly, kind of that aha moment of from kind of thinking that, oh, gosh, I don't want any competition in my particular area because we're so saturated, which that is a four-letter word to me, by the way, saturated, because we are so not. Right. I want every household in America to have a pampered chef product, right? That is our goal here. In some ways, we are a secret society. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> and we need to get the secret out. We gotta get the handshake out there. <laughs> Heck with that secret handshake. Yeah, like, yeah. Woo, but I'm bummed. At any rate, it's only like you. <laughs> He's going on the road soon. <laughs> Right? Yeah, was yeah, yeah, one -line was like, he was a secret to me. I was like, wow, where did this come from? He tells me he's an introvert. It's like, oh, sure. So we're going from that competition to really saying, wow, sharing the opportunity really can make, make an impact on yourself, your business, and also towards some great vacations and incentives. So what things are you doing that really impact your recruiting? I think the most important thing, and it's, I don't know if that is something that I'm doing, and it's really cheesy. Everyone's like, what is it? You have to be passionate about the business. Mm -hmm. I am so in love with the Pampered Chef that I talk about it all the time. Hi. My family is so sick of me. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> but seriously, like at my shows, I'm just talking about, oh, Pampered Chef is so wonderful, so great. We get this, we get that. I just really brag about the Pampered Chef um, a lot. And... I know most people are coming from their long day at work, they hate their job, so they come to the show, they see me up there, this is my job for two hours, I'm like, yay, this is so great. Um, so I think they're drawn to that because, you know, they hate what they're doing and they see somebody like loving what they're doing. Yes. And they kind of just want to get some of that, um, I think. Yeah. So it's very important to be passionate about the business and if you're kind of, you know, I'm new so everything to me is like, oh, it's like wonderful. If you've been in it in a while, maybe, you know, just remember what first was like really great for you. Just Aww. get back there. Oh, I love uh, that. Passion. Joni and I love our jobs too. Because <laughs> <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <laughs> do you, don't we? Very nice. Is it the Justin Bieber thing? <laughs> well, just, oh, is that just that he does? I don't know. I'm too old for Justin. Like, I don't know. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> I just learned about him the other day. <laughs> She doesn't like him anymore that he cut his hair. He's so on right. Facebook, you can friend him. Oh, he's on Facebook. Are you protecting your eight friend? <laughs> he's one of my seven. He's one of my seven. And then you can friend Jose, and it'll be all my boy bands everywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a little creepy, okay? <laughs> Tony's friends we're with all the boy down. bands. We're, we're doing we the go off We're here. going past <laughs> base camp. Uh -oh. we're, like, okay, we're going way back. Way back down. Down. <laughs> okay. Well, anyone in the audience wants to... Also, the other thing that I do oh, real yes. quick. Yes, Brenda. Yes. Get us back the other thing I do. Um, I use a booking... Or I used to use the booking and recruiting slide, but I've kind of transformed it now. I use a booking album, so it's... Just, you know, I go through the album when I'm talking about the business so people can see, oh, the vacations and this and that. Well, and that's where I was going to go because obviously I'm seeing this beautiful...